So 1.6b was a complete failure for me because it just kept crashing over and over and over again. But lo and behold, 1.7 is out, so I'm just downloading it. Actually, I just extracted it, and there's the Android folder right there. And I am going to copy it onto my blank, well, soon to be blank, SIM card and um, try it out. Uh, and just to be safe, I'm going to format the SIM card with the default format um, sector size and copy everything over and see how it goes. So skipping all the formalities of the install because you've seen it dozens of times in other videos and other websites, I just installed the 1.7 and the Matt C Froyo 1.7 build and it's booting up now. It's actually already booted up once but I had to shut everything down and install my SIM card and I'm booting it up again. So this is the first full boot up with the um, SIM card. Now when I tried the 1.6b it just kept freezing over and over again. I mean I got to the main screen and it just froze over and over again. Um, this one um, I think it's gonna be a little better. I mean uh, I've seen some things on the websites that say it's a lot better and when it boot up the first time it was actually pretty swift. So let's see what happens when we boot it up now. I don't have any of my customizations on here because when you install uh, 1.6 or 1.7 um, it is recommended by the good people at the um, XD developers and Matsy to not upgrade from your previous 1.5 because the data image, I think it was a data image file. Anyway, the um, data file is a completely different size and you're gonna lose all your data anyway. Oh, let me not show you my unlock code. And here we go, booting up the first time. Come on, that looks nice. That was actually pretty, pretty swift. That's that's a pretty sna that's pretty snappy. Oops. Looks like it's still trying to get a signal right now. Let that, let, let that finish. Now the trick is the first thing you want to do is actually oops let's get out of there is actually go into the settings and look at the, um, where are you? It looks a little, little different. Let me look at display and go to G sensor calibration. That's the first thing you wanna do. Always calibrating, don't move the phone. Let, let that finish, hit okay and we're done. I'm also gonna uncheck auto rotate the screen for now till I get a handle on whether this is gonna work out for me. So, phone in hand. Looks pretty good. Let me move it around and then see if it still reacts. Oops, my thumb is stuck. There we go. So that actually works out pretty good. Move it around. Oops, no lockup. All right, good job, Batsy. I'm gonna customize my phone and check back in a few days. So I installed the Matt C 1.7. I'm not going to go through the install because it's the same install as pretty much all the other ROMs. Um, but uh, let's see, I've already customized it to the way I want. So that means I'm running other apps in the background and I've changed um, the menu system and everything. Um, now, some people have said that those are the things that cause problems, but I've found no problems with 1.5 doing the exact same thing. So I've set up this 1.7 
to run exactly the same as my 1.5, same application, same processes, everything. And um, for the most part it runs, I get pretty much a full day of battery life under normal use. Uh, things work like GPS, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth media has been working. Um, but every once in a while, um, and these are the cons, I'm going to go through the cons first. If this phone goes to sleep, it will either not wake up, wake up in a minute, or just be dead. Uh, right now, because I've um, put it to sleep myself, well not put it to sleep, I've turned off the screen, I can turn the screen back on. But again, if I let it sit for an hour or a couple hours, there's a chance it might not come back and I'm still trying to figure out why. Uh, there's been uh, talk on the forums about it possibly being the G-Sensor and to run a G-Sensor script to turn it off and then turn it back on when you need to, but I, I don't really want to do that. Um, I'm gonna see what happens if I tweak some other things. Uh, let's see, the other thing that's been happening and I just can't figure this out for the life of me is uh, some people have say are saying their Bluetooth works and my Bluetooth headset does not work. It might be my headset, but hey, it should work. Um, other than that, actually, this has been pretty stable. Um, there's still some things that are not up to par uh, with um, what the phone hardware is. And I believe the camera should be a 5 megapixel camera, but I believe it's still 3. But hey, 3 is still great. The video camera works, which is great. Some things I didn't try are things like Wi-Fi tethering, which... Um, why don't we go through each one of these things one by one and just uh, try them. Okay, so let's go into the settings. Look at the wireless networks. And actually just turn on portable Wi-Fi hotspot. And it says error. Well, so much for that. Um, okay, well, let's see if there's any dependencies here. Let's turn on Wi-Fi. Looking at its settings. It's scanning and able to scan for networks. Well, that's not working out so good. Let's go to portable Wi-Fi hotspot settings. Maybe we need to set something in there first. Portable Wi-Fi hotspot can share this phone's 3G internet connection with your PC via Wi-Fi. After the portable Wi-Fi hotspot is started on this phone, your PC can connect to it and then start using the internet. Click OK. Press to turn on. Router's name, security, code. Sure, let's just use the default for now. Processing. Tethering or hotspot active, it says. And then it just doesn't turn on. Er... Uh, well... Okay, I rebooted and the portable Wi-Fi hotspot turned on for about 10 seconds and then errored. So I am just going to call that one not working for, for now. Next. Well, I don't know what else to test. Everything else seems to work for me. My GPS works, my regular Wi-Fi works. I'm not using Bluetooth headsets, I'm not even going to try that because in another video I already tried that and I get the same response. It basically freezes and reboots the, uh, the phone. Uh, one thing that did happen today is um, I was able to get the phone out of sleep and it had my um, had the screen to unlock my SIM card, which means uh, the radio rebooted or something. Uh, so uh, this morning I would have been missing calls, but that's okay, I guess for now. But why did it reboot? I don't know. I, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, let's see. Everything else seems to be okay. So I'm just going to call it done for this video. And we're going to wait and see if there's any updates or tweaks that are not workaround tweaks to get either the Bluetooth going or the G-Sensor from being less sensitive or something to make the Wi-Fi hotspot work or even the camera at 5 megapixels. 
Other than that, I actually still really like the phone and I still think it's better than Windows Mobile, which was slow and freezing every freaking other minute. At least if this gives an issue, it's a real issue, it's a big issue, and it's not every minute. Still, I uh, still like the Mat C. Uh, check out another video soon coming out. I'm gonna, uh, on another SD card, try the um, Darkstone Froyo build with um, HTC Sense. Thanks.